Um, it's bringing actually art into the equation. So what I would have people do is come into my studio and start expressing themselves like a little kid using crayons and markers. We can be dealing with life issues, job issues, anything, but it's somehow bringing out that creativity that's really freeing like a little kid. Uh, it opens people up, they feel safe, and stuff starts coming out of their mouth and we can move through stuff, but there's something else fun about it. And I also like doing the art with the person at the same time. So there could be music going on, both just, you know, moving watercolor around, drawing, crayoning, and uh, it's kind of going back to like being a kindergartner. Something really important about being, getting back into that moment. You know, when you look at kids just sitting at a table, hmm. they could be crayoning, it seems like forever, just one page up to the next. They're not really thinking, they're getting beyond thinking. They're just creating. They're not even thinking they're creating. They're just doing stuff. And they're fully in the moment. They're fully enjoying it. They're going on to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. They're not worrying, worrying about the future, the past, what's going to happen tomorrow, how much money they have in the bank. Um, so to get back to that, it's like pure joy, pure creating. It's like clarity comes out of that, I believe. <laughs>too, which is key is people give up. So many artists give up because they have to work and they have to make money and they think, I'm never going to make money at this. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Or and they're told it's a waste of time. Ah, gosh. Um, you know, me, I work, I have a job, I have other jobs I do. And I got to the point where I'm like, well, right now, I think it's really important for me to have art that I'm creating either daily or I have projects going on and knowing that that's just reminding myself that that's important and it takes time, it could take years, it could take 10 years, it could take 20 years, it doesn't matter. As long as you just keep at it, keep doing it, keep writing, keep getting the ideas out, keep making the ideas, keep talking to people and, and if you have to work a full-time job, well, so be it. But somehow I think the balance will come in as long as you're doing the creative, going back to the work, it'll so maybe de-stress that situation. Um, and the trick and the challenge is to keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. It could be, you know, you're in your 60s and you hit something. I don't know, whatever that is, but, you know, it could take decades. I know it's funny. I listen to what people say about my work, and then therefore I just take that as the truth. They go, oh my God, I find it inspiring. It makes me happy. It's happy. Like when they see it, they go, happy. And so I th think what I'm communicating is just happiness. Like when people get my work, they get joy out of it. They get, there's a depth to it and they want to look at it a lot, but it also gives them a, a feeling of joy. So for me, when I'm using like this last piece that I did, it has like nine different colors on it. And I'm getting so, I think because I'm getting so much joy and fun making them, that translates when people look at it. So then they actually get that in their life if they have it. And that is a big thrill. Like, who doesn't want that? What? Like, if that can remind them that there's some joy and happiness out there when you're in a sucky job and you're stressed out and you've got kids running around and you hate everybody, you can look up and go and smile. I mean, that's pretty awesome.